doing a tour today. We again tried to get taxis to places yesterday but unsuccessfully so we decided to book onto a group tour to come and see the main sites and all the temples. Our tour guide is called Sugar. <laughs> hotel in Koh Samui. We're staying at the Ibis Hotel. I think just under or just over £20 for the night. £10 each. There's a pool and everything downstairs and it's on the beach hopefully so we'll show you that later. Come down to the beach at our hotel. Some cocktails. Can't see but the beach is just there. Jamie has cocktails. This is the pool. It's a bar over there. Very nice. Happy hour. 200 bar for two drinks. It's got chicken and chips tonight. Very British. I've got a pineapple and ginger with tofu. <laughs> Impressed with his glass. <laughs> I've got to fill out with beer first. Oh. <laughs> Sam, if you're watching, these, these are Ashwell Rose and Crown. Hello everyone. We didn't really make this vlog long enough to make it a decent video, so we decided to add a little Q&A in the end of our trip so far. We asked for some questions on Instagram, and I also sent 
my family are requested for some questions as well so we'll be answering those now don't mind us using this mic because we're currently in a very loud hostel room where you can hear the road like as if we're literally sitting on the road so we're using a mic to make the sound better question number one what has been your favorite meal my favorite meal has probably been the pad thai we had on the first night i don't know if it was because it was the first pad thai we've ever had whilst in thailand but i think it was the best because in terms of value and taste it wasn't too spicy didn't have any kind of weird flavorings because a couple of the different pad thais we've had have had different flavors it was the best one for me and that was at the family restaurant in Aonan. Question number two. What has surprised you most about Thailand? Probably the transport. I actually thought it was going to be really bad. Like, you're going to find it difficult to get anywhere, but it's actually been really good. We've not had any issues with transport at all since we've been here. Everything's been on time. Everything's been safe. Everything's turned up when it said it should have turned up. Um, yeah, transport. We've managed to get everywhere we needed to get to with minimal fuss. She, yeah, I agree. She concurs. Question number three. Are you buying shampoo, etc., or do you get freebies at each hotel? I packed shampoo, but we have actually had shampoo and shower gel pretty much everywhere I've stayed, even in the hostels. Been on a conditioner detox, so I haven't conditioned my hair in three weeks. And hopefully you're still looking okay. If you're worrying about having to pack shampoo, you probably don't need it. Yeah, save yourself some liquids, don't bring it. If you can't get it in your hotel, 7-Eleven or any of the supermarkets to have everything that you would need at home, same kind of brands and stuff, so you'll be fine. Question number four. Have you made any friends who you are traveling with? We have made some friends. Um, if they are friends, I don't really know, but we, <laughs> we have met a few people when we was in Koh Phan Yang. And, See our last video. Yeah, and people have gone off in different directions. Obviously, that's what happens when you travel. When you, travel you kind of make friends for a period and then you all go your separate ways. However, there's a couple of guys that we met in Koh Phan Yang who are here now in Chiang Mai where we are at the moment and we are planning hopefully to meet up with them in the next day or two before they head off where they're going to head off and we head off where we're going to head off. Does your back hurt from carrying your rucksack? No. <laughs> it hurts during the carrying but we actually haven't had to carry it too much. Um, we've pretty much been avoiding walking around too much with our backpack so we've been getting taxis like when we've been in transit so that we don't have to walk too far because they're so cheap anyway and yeah i didn't pack too much our, ki our bags are both about nine kilos i've seen people pack like 15 or more so i think we packed pretty light so that we didn't injure ourselves and there's people with suitcases as well mm. and all sorts of different mass of huge 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 like 70 litre backpacks we've probably got the half of the wardrobe in there favorite place so far and why for me it was probably probably co pp was the, my favorite uh there was no cars no only kind of a few motorbikes but other than that that was very rare it's an island where you can walk literally everywhere you don't need to get taxis or anything like that um all of the shops and the bars and the restaurants are within walking distance where we stayed and obviously it was just like beautiful as well the the sea and the beaches were as you would expect when you see pictures of Thailand and then we went on the day trip out onto the to the water and that was just as good with the snorkeling and seeing the fishes etc so yeah. for me Koh Phi Phi. I would agree that was also my favourite place so far bar Chiang Mai which I'm, we're in now but you'll see that in the next video that we've done some great things already yeah that is a contender are you missing anything? Mm. Guinness um <laughs> It's impossible to find a pint of Guinness, although there is a place here in Chiang Mai which I may be able to get a Guinness. However, it's just really expensive, which you expect because it's imported. Obviously, the, the usuals, I miss kind of the comfort of having my own home, being able to go to my own fridge, go to my own shower, have everything in its right place, not live out of a bag, etc. But that's kind of minimal. Other than obviously my friends and family. Oh I yeah, that as well, to, sorry, yeah. I would have to say, um, chocolate, <laughs> Cadbury's chocolate, um, normal cheese, which doesn't taste mm, weird. Yeah. Um, a nice Stilton would be good. Not Stilton, but just normal cheese. My hair straightener. <laughs> However, can I just say, these are all very trivial things, things that you don't actually need in your life. Yeah. It's actually shown us both how we don't need as much stuff as we think we need. 
and we could probably go in life back home with a lot less stuff than we think we actually need. Um, it's all material in the grand scheme of things. But my hair is straight now. But hair straighteners and cheese and chocolate <laughs> and Guinness. What did you think of Koh Penang? Is it still cheaper than other islands? If you don't know what we think of Koh Penang, you've clearly not watched episodes two. So go back and watch that. There's a link in the description. We didn't find it to be particularly cheaper than other islands due to the fact that we didn't use mopeds and we used taxis. I usually do it based on pad thai costs. <laughs> and pad thai here in Chiang Mai is 45 I paid last night. In Ao Nang it was about 40, 50. 40. Yeah, 40. In Copenhagen you're looking at 70, 80. Mm -hmm. So that's usually your indication if you're in a more expensive place. And beer as well was more expensive. Or you just picked a more expensive restaurant. Okay. How are your feet? Minging. Um, <laughs> the callus is real. My toenails are grim. Although they are cut, which is good. But, yeah, not good. I'm in need of a pedicure. <laughs> we'll say that. That's it. <laughs> Obviously, we've been wearing sandals a lot, so they're a bit uglier than usual. Um, we've also had time to breathe, which is probably a benefit. Is there anything you wish you'd taken with you and didn't? Probably like a linen, like a linen long sleeve shirt or something like that, which is a bit more lighter. Because when we do go out for some something nice to eat and we want to dress up, I've got a nice polary shirt, but it it's quite thick. So maybe a, a nice linen. Is that the one I told you not to bring because it's too thick? <laughs> yeah, a nice linen shirt or something like that would have been okay. I've worn trousers a lot because I've been getting bitten and I only had one pair of trousers with me so maybe bring some more of them but actually I've um, been buying temple pants which are really cheap so I've just been wearing them. The only thing we possibly needed but didn't have was water shoes mm. um, but we kind of made do for the one day that we need to use them and they probably would have took up more room in our bags than they were worth. So, How much do you spend on average per day? So I calculated this earlier. We on average so far we're spending about 68 pounds and we were aiming for 60 we've had a few days where we've obviously done excursions and things that have pushed it over and that includes all of our food our accommodation transport activities activities everything you possibly could do has come out of that budget the um, only thing we're not including is any internal flights that we're taking we've got like a separate pot for that we will also probably do when we finish traveling um do a what we, spent, like, what video. we spent video for each of the countries we go to so keep your eyes out for that <laughs> final questions are what was the highlight of Koh Samui and what was the low point of Koh Samui I think my high point as you've seen already in the video was the drag show that was really fun just had that whole day was really fun we did the tour we went for dinner at the night market and then we went to the drag show we didn't film much else in the other days because we didn't really do much. We kind of just went to the beach and sat around. <laughs> mm. We also went to this restaurant called Crystal Restaurant on the first night. We didn't film that, but it was like really cheap. We'd seen it recommended. Um, that was really good food. We got like quite a few different dishes and shared them. So that was another highlight. And that sounds probably the worst high point, but the high point was the hotel because after we'd been in Koh Phangan and that was dreadful, in terms of getting bitten and lacking the kind of basic comfort that you need. Getting to the hotel we was in in Samui was like a different different gravy on it. It was, it was good. We didn't actually show that hotel, but it was called Cozy Samui and it's in the central Samui shopping mall, which is like the perfect location to be, to get everywhere you need to get. But the low point, I think probably for both of us was we obviously didn't have a moped, so you'd need to get taxis again and we tried to go to one of the landmarks called the Overlap Stone, but it was fairly far away. And we walked out of our hotel and spoke to these guys in the cent central mall about taxi prices. And they were all just like jumping on us, all four of them. One of the ladies got like really quite rude and was like, well, you go away then if you don't want to pay this price. And we were like, okay, there's no need to be rude. And then they just kind of wouldn't take no for an answer. I said no about a hundred times and he just kept following us. So that was a bit frustrating. My mum asked the final question, how are the bites? Well, they were healed until yesterday when, spoiler, we went to an elephant sanctuary and we didn't have any mosquito spray, so we 
gone a bit again. And the annoying thing here is that you can't buy any bug spray with DEET in it, so all we can get is like citronella oil and stuff, which doesn't really seem to do much. So we've got Tiger Balm, which we're putting all over our bikes. They're not too bad. They were, like I said, like Chloe just said, they were really quite bad to the point they were painful and it kind of ruined our time. But yeah, the small price we had to pay yesterday was very outweighed by being at the Elephant Sanctuary. You'll see more about that in the next two videos. You'll see that, that in... The Chiang Mai vlog. You'll see that in the Chiang Mai vlog. Vlog. You'll see that in the... <laughs> You'll see that in the Chiang Mai vlog. That's the end of our Q&A. We're out questions now, so... Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next week, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. Who knows? We might have a bit of a bonus vlog because we were going to do one per week, but now we've got five videos total for Thailand, so we might get an extra one this week. Look forward to that. And Once I've edited it. And lastly, thanks for all the views and the questions and the comments on the videos and the personal messages. We now have 300 subscribers. Woo! Woo. I like about 15k views across the both of the videos which is a bit mad um yeah thanks for supporting us <laughs> this is tough. well miss i guess i'll be on my way now <laughs>